Okay, folks, I'm almost sick of hearing about court packing. I'm just totally sick of it. You hear the Republicans complaining about the possibility of it. You hear the Democrats absolutely cheering it on. What do we do about the issue of court packing? Well, there's really only one way to solve it, and that is to win elections. We have to win enough elections to not only keep, keep the presidency, keep the Senate, but also take the House. So if you haven't voted yet, I want to encourage you, don't just vote for Trump. Don't just go and, and put, put your uh, dot on President Trump's name. You need to go and vote in all of your elections, your federal elections. And do the state and local ones, too. I mean, for heaven's sakes, if you're a Republican, if you're a conservative, whatever your political party persuasion is, you really need to vote in the down-ballot elections, too. You can't just vote for president and leave it at that. Okay, that's lazy, and it doesn't really help. I mean, it helps in the sense that it gets Trump reelected, but it's not, it's not going to help throughout. And we need the help throughout. Because the only way we're going to solve the court packing problem is if we take the House. We have to keep the presidency, we keep the Senate, and we take the House too. So that we can do whatever the hell we want. And here's what we do. And this will put to bed the problem of court packing once and for all. Are you listening? The Republicans, once they're seated, once everybody's all together and we've got the Republican majorities in both houses, the Republicans go to the Democrats and they say this. We're going to do one of two things, and we will let you pick which one, okay? We will, number one, add two new justices to the Supreme Court, whom President Trump will appoint. Now remember, Democrats have been saying, pack the court, pack the court, pack the court, pack the court. Okay, we'll pack the court. We'll pack the court with Trump judges. I mean, you, you, you don't have a problem with packing the court? We'll put more justices on the court. We'll put two more conservative justices that Trump will appoint on the court. Fine. Fine. Or, number two, we'll pass a constitutional amendment that sets the number at nine. Your pick. You pick. What do you think the Democrats are going to do? They're going to take the constitutional amendment. <laughs> they are absolutely 100% going to take the constitutional amendment because you know what's going to happen if they don't? First, Congress is absolutely going to pack the court with two more conservative justices. And you know what they're going to do next? They're going to make Democrats the same offer. Okay, Democrats, we just put two new Trump justices on the Supreme Court. Now here's what we're going to do. We're going to put two more on. We're going to put two more justices on that Trump is going to appoint. Or we're going to pass a constitutional amendment keeping the Supreme Court at nine. Or at, at this point, 11. Keeping it at 11. <laughs> and rinse and repeat. And rinse and repeat. That's all you have to do. But the important thing is we have to win enough elections to do it. So please, if you have not already voted, because you can't vote twice, get out there, get to the polls, and go vote. Vote Republican, down ballot all the way. Vote for your Republican congressman. Vote for your Republican senator. We have to keep the Senate. We have to keep the presidency. We need to take the House. If we take the House, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, yes. We will absolutely either get our constitutional amendment, or we will pack that effing court. Just like the Democrats said they will. Because all's fair. I'm Mike Partika, and uh, please, get out there and vote. I will talk to you later.